The As drop-down list in the Save As dialog box offers two formats for reports, Report and Data Access page. You can use the Report option to create an exact copy of your new report, or you can use the Data Access page option to create a web version of the report. For your convenience, the Data Access page has been saved and the new file has been opened in Microsoft Internet Explorer. Any report that you create can be converted into a web page using this method. Let's close the browser. You can create a report on your own or have Access create a report for you using the Report Wizard. The Report Wizard simplifies the process of creating a report because it does all the basic work for you. When you use the Report Wizard, it prompts you for information and creates a report based on your answers. Next, you will create a report that displays employee information for all of the employees at the zoo. Begin by clicking the New button. Clicking the New button opens the New Report dialog box. This is where you choose the type of report you would like to create. You also choose the table or query that will provide information for the report. Since you will be creating a report to display employee information, you need to tell Access to get the data from the employees table. Now click the OK button to Here is the Report Wizard dialog box. The first dialog box prompts you to select the fields you would like to include in the report. If you click the Add All Fields button, Access will add all of the fields in the employees table to the report. Let's just choose last name, first name, job title, department, rate per hour, and hours per week. Good. Six fields from the employees table have been added. If the data in your table contains values that can be grouped, select the fields you want to group in the next dialog box of the report. For now, just leave the records ungrouped and click Next to continue. Next, you have the option to choose the fields you would like to sort the records by. You can sort using up to four fields in ascending or descending order. Sort the records alphabetically by last name. <laughs> For now, just leave the records un- Good. Now the records will be sorted by the last name field in ascending order by default. You can also choose to display the records in columnar, tabular, or justified form, and in portrait or landscape orientation. Display the records in landscape orientation. Choosing a report style applies a uniform, coordinated look to your report. The report wizard now prompts you to give your report a title. Let's name it Employee Data. That's it. Now click. Good. Here is the report, displayed in print preview. Notice the automatic style that has been applied. You can see that creating a report with the report wizard gives you a more visually appealing report than an auto report. Notice how the fields that contain text are left justified and the fields that contain dollar amounts are all right justified. This is because the Report Wizard uses the default alignment for each field in the report. Let's close the Print Preview window and continue.